if the agency can now treat uh, broadband services as a utility, I mean, give us a sense of how detailed can their oversight be? I know a lot of it has been they've for, forborne on most of it, but what can the FCC do here in terms of dictating terms to um, broadband service providers? Uh, let me just give you one concrete example, which I uh, teed up a little earlier, T-Mobile's music freedom. So if you're a wireless customer and uh, of T-Mobile and you have a data cap, you might think, well, okay, I want to be careful about how I consume data, but T-Mobile has a program called Music Freedom, which exempts certain programs like Spotify and Pandora from those data caps. So if you listen to a bunch of songs on, when, you're, when you're walking around, uh, that content does not count against your data cap. Now, generally speaking, free content seems to be a good thing for most wireless customers, but the agency explicitly said that that could be considered a net neutrality violation under the internet conduct standard. And that simply raises the question, how far will this internet conduct standard go? What kinds of business practices that innovative new competitors might want to introduce might be frowned upon by the FCC? Uh, you know, the FCC also set up in the, FCC, uh, the Open Internet Order an Enforcement Bureau advisory opinion process where uh, companies can come in and ask, mother may I? You know, may I do this kind of business practice? And even then the agency said, well, if we give you certain advice, you can't necessarily rely on it. And I can bet you if you don't come to the agency and ask for advice, that's going to be used against you in the future in enforcement proceedings. Uh, so you know, the question is, where, where do we go from here? And I think the best indication of that, oh, sorry about that. Um, uh, the, the best indication of that is uh, the FCC's leadership's own admission on February 26th uh, following the adoption of the order. When asked, what does the internet conduct standard mean, the quote was, we don't know where things go next. And I, that is regulatory uncertainty defined. And uh, I don't, I, I think I can't put it any better than that.